just before Jesus was taken away to be tortured, sentenced to death on a cross. He knew his hour was coming and he was filled with so much distress, so much anguish. And I think we forget that Jesus was, yeah, he was fully God. We recognize that easily, but he was also fully man. And because he was fully man, he felt all the same feelings that you and I feel when we're in trial and pressing and crushing in our suffering. And because of that, we serve a God who actually can sympathize and empathize with our trials, with our sufferings. To, to be able to sympathize is, is where we have a God that says, I feel for you. Empathizing, we have a God that says, I feel with you. And that's the God that you and I serve. He suffered along side of us every bit of anguish and distress that you've ever experienced jesus experienced the same thing in matthew 26 it says then jesus went with them to the olive grove called gethsemane and he said sit here while i go over there to pray he took peter and zebedee's two sons james and john and he became anguished and distressed he told them my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death Stay here and keep watch with me. He went on a little farther and bowed with his face to the ground, praying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Jesus here suffering so much that he doesn't want to go alone. He, he takes his friends with him, his closest friends, Peter, James, and John so that they can be alongside him and pray with him. But even then, they couldn't fight the battle that Jesus alone had to fight. I think it's so fitting that Jesus experienced this crushing in Gethsemane. Gethsemane literally means oil press. Just like a wine press is where grapes are crushed to produce wine, the oil press is where olives would be crushed to create oil. And oil has special significance in the Bible. The oil is a sign of anointing, is a sign of power, but it also has amazing significance in Jesus' time. It was essential, valuable. They used it to light their, their lamps. They used it to heal wounds and to soothe their bodies. Here's the reality. God uses the crushing as a means of transformation. And you may be experiencing a crushing of your own in this season. You may feel crushed today because you lost your job. You may feel crushed because of your health or a loss of a loved one. You may feel crushed because you had to file for bankruptcy. Or maybe you feel crushed because you love someone who doesn't love you back. There's all kinds of reasons that we can experience a crushing. If you look at the crushing process of the olive, it appears to be the end, but it is a means of transformation that God uses to bring it to its best use. And the same is true with us. The things that we thought that would end us to take our life or to take us out, God uses the crushing as a means of transformation in our own life to bring out our best value. God turns pressing into power. The key to the crushing is surrender though. In Jesus' response, we need to respond the same way. Father, if it is possible, let this suffering pass from me. But if you want to use this crushing to make me whatever you want me to be, let it be so, God.